to another maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at a difference of two squares. Now before we start, I'd just like to introduce a new competition that we're having to win £250 each month. Full details will be explained at the end of this video on how to enter, so make sure that you watch till the end of the video. So we take a quick overview. A difference of two squares is one of three types of factorisation that you will be asked to do. Now the other two being a common factor and a triromeo. I will put a link in the description to both of those videos that you can have a look at separately. This is probably the easiest of the three and you will see why when we do an example. And the key characteristic of a difference of two squares is that when the brackets are multiplied out, the middle terms will cancel each other out, and instead of being left with three terms, you'll be left with two. So this is what distinguishes a difference of two squares between a triromial. And the clue is in the name that a difference of two squares suggests that we will have two brackets as our final answer. So this one here says factorise 25x squared minus 36. So in order for this to be a difference of two squares, it must contain a negative between the two terms. If it, this was a plus, it wouldn't be a difference of two squares. It would have to be a common factor because there is only two terms. If there was three, it would be a triromial. So we can assume and a difference of two squares, that one bracket is positive and the other bracket is negative. You can't do that with a triromial, but for a difference of two squares, you can assume that one is positive and one is negative. Now the first term in each bracket will refer to the first term in the equation, i.e. the 25x squared. We'll refer to this term and this term, and the 36 will refer to this term and that term. Now, the way that you have to solve this is you think of two numbers and letters which multiply together. They must be the same thing that would give you 25x squared. So this one would be 5x times 5x because 5 times 5 is 25 and x times x is x squared. And then the 36, two numbers that must be the same would be 6 and 6. And what you will find is these brackets will be identical to each other, apart from one will have a plus and one will have a minus. And that's how you would go about solving a difference of two squares. It doesn't get much difficult than that. So in order to enter our monthly prize giveaway for £250 beginning in January, all you have to do is answer each question that we leave which will correspond to the topic of the video and you must comment the correct answer and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Only valid subscribers with the correct answer will qualify for the £250 draw. Now we will be publishing multiple videos within the month so the more videos that you comment with the correct answer, the more entries you will have. So this question here, to give you a hint, is you would have to create the equation for the area first using the difference of two squares method and then substitution of the capital R and the small r. So what you are essentially finding is the area of the shaded region which is in yellow. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section along with your answer to the question. And we'll see you in the next video.